Hey friends, in this video, I am gonna do a high level overview of how you can get a Framer website and Shopify store connected to have a beautiful, elegant, and full experience. Okay, so if you are new to this whole thing, there are three things that I wanna walk you through so you know exactly how to make a decision if you are considering using Framer and Shopify to have your e-commerce experience. Number one, Framer is gonna give you the most beautiful website on the planet. Use that link down below to get started with Framer and get a discount. Framer is literally one of the best platforms out there to build a website and it is updating every single day. Number two, Shopify is the the best experience out there for e-commerce. Now, when you marry both of these, you get number three. You get the best e-commerce experience on the internet, minus one important thing, which is plugins. All of the plugins on Shopify at the current moment do not work with this integration. So when you use Framer and Shopify together, you lose access to all the plugins in Shopify. Now, when it comes to plugins, there may be some updates or things that Frameship does in the near future that will fix this. Because I look at their website and they do say they integrate with Shopify apps, but it might be after the checkout process. Anything that happens before the checkout process, as far as I can tell, does not integrate. Now, I could go down a rabbit trail and try to explain a lot of the nuance here, but there is a lot to cover. So as long as you know that basic rule and you work backwards from there to ensure that Framer and Shopify can work together the way you want, you could have a great experience. So if that checks the boxes for you, this tool called Frameship is going to be an excellent choice for you. I just launched my first site with Frameship and I love it. Let's take a look. Now this website sells beef in large quantities. What you're looking at right now is Framer and Shopify connected through Frameship. The first thing we'll take a look at is if we go to any of our products, you'll see what the product experience looks like. It's fully customizable. You'll see here we have our variants provided and you'll see the numbers change, the pricing change, and then you could add to cart, which is awesome. You could see here, you could have multiple items. The cart is built out. All of this is in Framer, which is awesome. If I want to remove an item, I can do that. I also even have this little tab here. So if you select this and you check out, you can do it. You want to close the cart, you can do that. And if you want to connect to shop pay directly, click on that. It'll take you to the checkout experience immediately. And as you can see here, this is the Shopify checkout experience. And so I'm able to go back to my store, add in different products and be able to select the quantities, add that to my cart. And you'll see even the numbers update, everything is working. I understand. Check out and you'll see that all those items are selected just as we had it. So yes, you could use discount codes. You could use shop pay. You could use other forms of payment. And all of this is built within Framer. Now let's take a look at Frameship. And as you can see here, this is the Frameship website. Now this company is newer. I'm going to point out two to three things you want to keep in mind with Frameship and certain limitations, but this is a really, really cool tool and everything is offered that you need that you just saw that we built out for you to be able to have your store the way you like, add in products, add in variants, sync it with your store live, all of that good stuff. And definitely use the code David at checkout and you will get 10% off. Okay, so here we are on the back end of Framer and this is where the site is built and everything is built out. Let's take a look at products and then let's take a look here at the actual product page. You can see here we have these specific components that came from Frameship. And so I'll go to the plugins, I'll go to Frameship, and then in here is where you could start to select the different variants that you want to use. Whether it's a product page, add to cart, variant selector, quantity, all of that is built in. Now, one of the key things here is that you need to connect your store in Shopify to Framer. Now, the way you do that is through the CMS. And so you'll come in here, you'll add the plugin, you'll go to frame ship, and then you will sync it with your store. As you could see, as I already have it synced here, so you could see the products. What is really cool is that you could add in custom fields to any of your products. So if I click into a product here, you'll see that these fields right here are customized in Framer. 
So for example, high level, you add a new product to your store in Shopify, you sync it to Framer, and then you could add in custom fields. If I go into manage, you'll see these are the custom fields we added. And these are the fields that were imported from Shopify with Frameship. Now there's a lot going on, but this tool really provides a clean and simple way to get started. There are a few limitations that I'm going to cover now. First and foremost, one of the issues is how you get your actual frame ship license, it doesn't work that well in my opinion. What basically happens is that no matter who is working on the site, and let's say you have a developer or you have multiple people on your team, everyone needs to be logged into frame ship, which is done through an email. You have to all be in the same account and then make sure that before you hit publish on your site, that this is logged in and connected because otherwise you're going to get a message which I might have on my screen right now. I don't see it, but at the bottom right corner, it would say something like start your subscription with Frameship. So you just wanna be really mindful of that as you are getting started so that you don't end up with issues on your live site and people can't check out. But this also leads to another problem. Let's say I'm not logged in, I forget that I'm not logged in, whatever happens, if I'm on this side and I'm in my products and I hit sync, you actually might witness this right now, products may disappear images may disappear, a lot may happen. As you can see right here, that was actually pretty major. And I don't know if I could go back. I can't. I lost a bunch of information. And so I added it all in, but it doesn't warn you. It just literally takes it away. And you might not know. I hit command Z. It went back because I know what to pay attention to. But if you are a new developer or you're just new on Framer, that is kind of scary. You could potentially damage your whole site and not even realize it. So for example, if I'm in here editing one of these, I add in this info and I add in this info and I add this in, but then I accidentally hit that button. I lose all that info because it removes it from the CMS, which to me, I'm a little frantic about that. Now, the other thing to consider is that let's say I'm on one of my products here and let's go to specifically this product here. As you can see, we have like five images added. So one, two, three, four, five. If you decide on Shopify, let's add seven images. Well, you would have to make sure that this component on your website now can support up to seven images or up to 10 images or whatever that might be. And then from there, some other things right here, if you select a variant, it does not sync with the image. So if you're talking about colors, this is where it gets really nuanced. But if you have say like color t-shirts, black, yellow, red, green, whatever the colors are, if you select red, it does not automatically sync with the image. So you would need a developer to do that. Now in the future, Frameship will probably have a lot of these features covered. But as of right now, Frameship is less than a year old. These things are still outstanding. Outside of that, I love the tool. You could build the cart page. You could add the products. You could add in the variants and it does change the price. There's a lot of really cool things that you could do with the website and build out your store with a fully custom experience. Now, if you are considering this, one of the things you want to keep in mind is pricing for this tech stack at the bare minimum, you need at least three tools, which is going to be Framer, Shopify, and you will need Frameship. Thankfully, Frameship is only $79 as of right now for a lifetime subscription or a lifetime license. On my screen, you'll see the frame ship license and down below a framer plan and a Shopify plan. Down below are all three links. So you have them plus the promo code for framer and the promo code for frame ship. So you can get discounts on both of those. Now, one other thing worth mentioning is that Frameship does have templates for e-commerce stores. So you could see here, they have a bunch of templates that you could potentially choose from to start your store. And one other thing I love about Frameship is that they are a sub company of a larger company, which they call Frameverse. Here they have Insert Framer, they have Framer Forms, they have Super Fields, they have Fenty, which that looks new, Career Course, Note Frame, and Framer Plugins. They got a lot of stuff, which just basically shows they are Framer experts that they're going to continue to develop this tool out and that this tool frameship in its current form is a great starting point and over the course of the next 6, 12, 18 months is only gonna get better. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. And if you do start a framer store with Shopify, share the links down below or comment on it so others can see your site and get inspiration. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.